Do you know where we're gonna go to hot winter? Hey, we're Brandon and Alyssa. We saved $30,000 so we can travel for a year. For the first part of our adventure, we've decided to move into our Prius for an epic summer road trip from San Diego to Canada. We have no itinerary, no idea how far we'll get, and no clue what we're doing. All we know is we plan to go until one of us decides, here's good. We are leaving Boston today, but not before we try one of their most famous sandwiches. No, not a lobster roll, a roast beef sandwich. The Boston area has a ton of choices for roast beef, but we've decided to stop at Mike's Roast Beef because they serve theirs on a onion bun with creamy horseradish. They have a ton of sauces and toppings that you can add to customize it to your liking. Oh, and the onion rings, some of the best onion rings I've ever tasted in my entire life. No joke. Welcome to Rhode Island, <laughs> another new state. We are headed to a place called Wright's Farm. When we looked up Rhode Island, we knew nothing about it. This was the first thing that popped up as you must eat when you are in Rhode Island. 16.75, chicken, pasta, salad, bread, fries, fries and a drink. Yeah. And it's all you can eat. Hopefully it's good. Oh, the other thing you must eat in Rhode Island, hot wieners. We're gonna have that for breakfast tomorrow. Or at least I am. He's not into the hot wiener. <laughs> Legendary Wright's Farm and Restaurant. If you're curious, no checks allowed. I feel like we're at like the VFW. <laughs> Before I get into this place, I want to say thanks to Tori, friend we visited in Seattle. You can check him out in that video for his donation because he's going to cover the cost of this all you can eat chicken feast. <laughs> this place smells like chicken potpourri. It's an interesting vibe to say the least. So Jeanette just came and she gave us the rundown of everything. We got Bud Lights to go with it, obviously. And now we're just awaiting the first course. I don't know. I really, it really does feel like you're in somebody's like home, but you don't know anyone there at the party. <laughs> She said the salad's pre-tossed and it looks like it's like an oil and vinegar. It's like your basic bag salad. We're pretty uh, knowledgeable about that. The rolls are homemade. They're not warm. <laughs> I was looking around and everyone is adding this Parmesan that's on the table and pepper, so I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Shells with a house-made marinara sauce. People rave about this. House-made potatoes. The piece de resistance. Rotisserie chicken of some sort. Looks roasted. It smells like the cologne everyone's wearing in here. I feel you could never find a place like this in California. This is like so uniquely Rhode Island. It's a chicken. <laughs> it's great. That is a family dining experience in Rhode Island that I will never forget. Now to find a place to sleep. We slept at a rest stop last night. It worked out great. I feel like that's how you start every single day. <laughs> we slept at a rest stop last night. The rest stops have been glorious to us since we left, honestly, the West Coast. Yeah, totally. Weird stuff happens at rest stops in the West Coast. The rest of the country, they're like normal rest stops. Dinner was interesting. We are gonna go try some other food. This is the hot wiener. Boiled hot dog on a steamed bun, meat sauce, onions, and mustard, I think. Oh, Ola Nanny's New York system. called a hot wiener, the New York system, or the gaga. The gaga. Mm -hmm. Pork and veal sausage, topped it with meat sauce, which is kind of like a chili, I think, but it doesn't look like very saucy. Some really finely diced onions, and it looks like there's some sort of mustard on there. The bun is super soft, like steamed. The skin on there is very unique. Dense skin with like a snappy pork, and the veal is like, adds like a nice kind of gamey fattiness to it. The onions are so good. The hot dog is different. I didn't think it would taste different than like a beef hot dog. It's way different. It's snappy like a hot dog, but the taste is like a sausage. I love the onions.
It's such a cool environment. The people are super friendly. It's a cool old school spot. This place is like a time capsule. It's absolutely incredible. Those dogs, I could probably smack down three or four of those in one sitting easy. They're delicious. The guy cooking is giving life advice to all the customers. The other side, dumbass. Hold on the wrong side. <laughs> it is a truly unique experience. This place is really cool. The dogs are so good, we got a BLT to go for four bucks. I forgot when we were in there, Brandon was ordering and he said, I'll have two dogs and chili cheese fries and two waters. The guy laughed at him when he said two dogs. And then we were talking to the old dude. At the end, he was like, pardon my language, hot dogs. Didn't even you don't say, say dog, you say wiener. And Brandon couldn't get himself to say wiener. So the guy them. laughed at him. Brandon said, hot dog, please. Like an amateur. <laughs> Pulled over to eat the BLT. Ooh. This is how I want a BLT. It. I hate when people get all fancy with it. I just want OG style. So Rhode Island seems to be a lot of food your mom would have made you. Everything makes me feel like 10 again. Look, Comforting. I definitely want to come back to Rhode Island. It is small, but like the experiences that we've had so far. I've been blown away. Just the entire New England area as a whole. This is really my first time exploring up here. Yeah. And when, the next time we come back to the States, I want to do everything. Yeah, yeah. It's a good vibe up here. It's a Connecticut in search of the cheapest gas on the trip. $2.83. We just got tickets to Saturday and Sunday's Yankees Orioles series. Aaron Judge just tied Roger Maris' home run record 61. So we have our fingers crossed that he doesn't go deep tonight because we have tickets to the next two nights. I think that our tickets are in range that we might be able to catch a home run ball worth a couple million bucks. Saturday, we are in the bleachers. Sunday, we're in right field terrace. I've been to New Yankee Stadium. I went with my best friend, Jen, dad and brother. We went to see Mariona Rivera's last day. So that was way cool. Thanks to Bob and Loretta for the money they threw at us while we were in Vegas. We were able to double it and get some Yankee tickets. Brandon has been to old Yankee Stadium, so this will be a new stadium for him. 1998 is the last time I got to go, so I'm excited to see the new stadium. We are trying to see all 50 states in every Major League Baseball stadium. There's a few that I've been to that he hasn't and a few that he's been to that I haven't. We don't know where we're parking in New York, so that should be an event in and of itself. 